hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are well and i hope you guys are staying safe so if you are new here welcome welcome my name is ayatollah the creative director of so unique badini and the content creator of this youtube channel diy with so unique badini and this channel was created just for you to teach you loads of sewing crafts and you know different diy crafts that you can do from the comfort of your home so if that's something that you're interested in definitely definitely consider subscribing if you subscribe i promise you that it will be worth your while and all you need to do is hit the red subscribe button right here on your screen as well as the notification bell so you don't miss out on the awesome content that i have for you you also want to follow me on social media with the handles being shown on the screen okay guys if you're a returning subscriber welcome back you guys know how much i love and appreciate you guys thank you guys so much for the love thank you so much for the support you guys are absolutely amazing guys and you know you guys know how we do it you know good videos exceptional you know detailed tutorials every single sunday so today is no different i've got another detailed tutorial for you guys and it's going to start with a quick lecture and then we move on to the tutorial bit so are you guys ready fasten your seat belts Right, guys as you can already tell from the title i'll be teaching you all about circles and flares okay and i'll be inserting pictures to the clip so i'm not sure where i'll be inserting the pictures here but it might be to my left or to my right but i will be inserting pictures and we're going to be talking about circles like i already said and pardon me if you see me looking down i am actually looking at my phone where i have the notes so yes that's why i'm looking down so we're going to be talking about circles right and a circle is also known as a flare so a circle is also called a flare so whether you hear me say circle or hear me refer to it as a flare just know that i'm talking to this i'm talking about the same thing okay so a circle can be used as an outfit in itself or it can be used as elements it can be com combined to other outfits to make elements and what do i mean so when you say a circle is used as an outfit or a flare is used as an outfit in itself we're talking about things like a flare skirt which is also known as a circle skirt or like your circle top or like your circle dresses and, and i have a detailed tutorial showing you how to make a circle top so i'm going to put the put the link in the icard above as well as in the description bar below check it out it's a detailed tutorial and i show you how to make a circle top i also had a, have a detailed tutorial showing you how to make a two-tiered a two-tiered circle skirt so check it out so if you're looking to make like an outfit on its own with a circle or with a flare you can definitely do that however the uses go beyond that if you need to combine that to an existing outfit or you need to combine it and use it as an element it actually works and does the job if you hear birds tweeting excuse the birds um it's morning here and yeah the birds are yapping away so as elements a circle or a flare can be attached to the waist and when you have like a top and you have like a circle or a flare attached to the waist then you can refer to it as a peplum or a basque so basically a lot of a lot of people co confuse the term peplum or basque you know they confuse them together and the difference is basically in the length right both of them go to the waist of a blouse but then you have the difference in the length a basque is usually shorter in length than a peplum so and a basque is spelled b-a-s-q-u-e i hope i'm pronouncing it right but i will put a picture on you know on the screen so you can see what a basque is and you know also see what a peplum looks like you can also attach a circle or a flare to the armhole and then it is called a butter a butterfly sleeve so many of us i know that we refer to anything that has a circle as a or a flare as a peplum but that term is not correct the term that a circle or a flare is called is derived from where it is attached on an outfit so you will not refer to a flare that is attached to the ammo as a peplum no then you have the butterfly sleeves and if you don't know what the butterfly sleeves looks like i'm going to slip a picture on the screen now as well you can also attach a circle or a flare to the biceps area and that is what you commonly refer to as a bell sleeves so i'm sure you guys have seen if you've seen the last video that i did on how to make um a bridal robe we actually had butterfly sleeves there so what had happened was that we had like the feature sleeves all the way to somewhere around here around the biceps and then we attached a flare here and that is how you make a bell sleeves and obviously in case you don't know how we got about how we derived that name a bell has you know a shape where it's straight and then it just comes out like that so that's how we got the name bell sleeves 
anyways let's move on so like i said i'm going to show you what a bell a bell sleeves look like butterfly sleeves look like another interesting thing is you can also have a flare or a circle attached to the hem of a skirt so you have some skirts and you see them and then you have a flare or a circle attached to the hem so like i said when it comes to using circles or flare as elements the possibilities are absolutely endless now let's move on types of circle there are three types of circles that you have and you have the first one which is a full circle and it's called, also known as a 360 degree circle when we say 360 degrees you guys if you're familiar and conversant with maths maths you will know that that means it goes all around so that is a 360 degree circle which is also known as a full circle you could also have a half circle which is obviously a 180 degree circle half of 360 so you have the full circle you have a half circle and lastly you have a quarter circle so a quarter circle is a 90 degrees which is absolutely a quarter of 360 degrees okay so i'm going to explain how to cut all the circles i'm going to explain you know the things to do and the differences between all the circles but as the name implies when you have a full circle you have a bigger flare area to work with as opposed to a quarter circle now we're going to be referring to terms such as the radius when i say waist radius don't get confused i just say waist radius because usually a circle is used as a peplum but whatever circumference area that you're adding your circle to will determine that radius so if you're trying to find the waist radius or the armhole radius that's what it would mean so for instance if i'm trying to cut a circle to fit my armhole i will be considering the radius um, the circumference of the armhole right if i'm trying to cut a circle to fit, fit my waist i will be considering my waist circumference if i'm trying to cut a circle to fit the hem of my skirt i will be considering the circumference of the hem of my skirt i hope that makes sense so i'm going to leave some um, form, uh, form some formulas on the screen right now and it's going to show you how to you know do how to work out the radius of a circle the radius you need so definitely definitely write down the formulas somewhere that you can access them later as you'll need them anytime you're cutting a circle All right, guys. So we're like I said, we're moving on to the you know practical area of this class where I show you how to cut a circle, how to do the calculations. And if you didn't already catch the formula on the screen, I have it written down here again. So for a full circle, you have your circumference divided by two pi. Now, when I say circumference, remember that I already said that this could be the mo area if you were doing butterfly sleeves, or it could be the waist area if you were doing a peplum top, or it could be the um, bicep area if it were bell sleeves. Regardless of where it is you do need to find the circumference of that area where you'll be attaching the flare or the circle to and then of course you have pi and if you did mathematics in you know secondary or high school you know that pi is 3.14 that's what pi is it's a it's a staple figure is fixed now if you're trying to call a half circle which is a 180 degrees you have a circumference divided by pi note the difference for a full circle you have 2 pi that's 2 multiplied by pi however for a half circle you have divided by, divided by pi and then for a quarter circle you have the circumference measurement divided by half pi so here you have 2 pi you have pi and then you have half pi so what i like to do is before i get into it i like to sort of all my math so i know what 2 pi is and because we say that pi is 3.14 i know that 2 pi will be 3.14 multiplied by 2 which will be 6.28 if my math is correct so 3.14 multiplied by 2 i was actually right that gives me 6 0.28 so here you would always divide the circumference by 6.28 and then for the half circle you will be dividing the circumference by 3.14 and then for a quarter circle you will be divide dividing the circumference by 1.57 so now that we have all this all these figures that i'm circling 
we now know what to do and it's easier for us to work with so i would say that you do this and you always keep it handy so you know that for a full circle now you will be dividing the circumference by 6.28 for a half circle you will divide the circumference by 3.14 and for a quarter circle you will be dividing the circumference by 1.57 all right guys so now that we have all of this we're going to move on and we're going to move on and to help us with this tutorial i have the following items here so i've got you know three pieces of um, scrap fabric they're just satin fabrics that i've put out here and i've cut them into like just squares so that i can teach you how to cut a circle i've got my chalk i've got two colors of taylor's chalk here so i can show you you know i don't know what will what, what will show on what fabric so i've got two colors just in case i've got some pins i don't know if i'll need them yet i've got my measuring tape and i've got my fabric scissors so without further ado we're going to get into it we'll be starting with a full circle which is the most common type of a circle so i'm going to be starting with one of my fabrics i've got my fabric and you want to open up your fabric now while this is not a huge side fabric you can cut it to whatever size you want to cut out your circle the first thing you want to do when you want to cut a full circle is you want to fold your circle into four so i folded it once like that so it's folded into two and then i fold it again into four now for every time you fold your circle into four what you will have is you will have two folded edges on top of each other like this and then you will have one that is like this and then you have the open edges and you know the open edges here what you need is this part you want to work with the folded edges up and to the side just like that okay now we're going to be cutting a full circle right and for this particular full circle we're going to be working with a circumference a total circumference of 16 inches right so we're assuming that whatever we're putting it is 16 inches in circumference so that is the total circumference for this one is 16 inches so the first thing that you want to do is you want to check your length okay that it's fine so let's calculate the radius first let's calculate the radius using the formula so i already said that you know the circumference is 16 inches so if you know you know what you'll do is 16 inches divided by 6.28 so let's start that 16 inches divided by 6.28 and I've got there 2.54 that's what I've got approximately 2.55 okay approximately 2.6 but it's just best to leave it at you know what you can get so we start at the apex you always want to start at the apex you can see that right there at the apex it must be right there at the apex okay I'm going to increase that the zoom so you can see clearly right there so you start right there at the apex you make sure that it's flat and it's nicely positioned and then you want to mark whatever you get now we're working in inches so don't get confused so we have 2.54 so here is 2.5 okay if you know how to read your measuring tape if you don't know how to check out the video i'm going to put a link in the description bar where i show you how to read your measurement measure, measuring tape but this is 2.5 and this is 2.6 right approximately we said that that is 2.6 but yeah keeping it around here is safe somewhere here okay that's fine now in a case where you're adding it to a peplum top and you need to add your zip allowance it's best you add your zip allowance before you do this so for instance if your circumference in itself was actually 16 inches and then you have a zip allowance of one inch on to the left and another one inch to the right so in total you have a zip allowance of two inches you'll do 16 inches plus two which will give you 18 inches then you will not do circumference divided by 2 pi so you will not do 18 inches divided by 6.28 okay and that will give you 2.86 right so let's assume that i've added my zip allowance of 2 inches now my circumference was original 16 16 inches i added my zip allowance of 2 inches i'm now left with 18 inches so in total i have 2.86 approximately 2.89 2.89 would be closest to this and like i said if you don't know how to read a measuring tape go and check it out i have a detailed video this is actually 2.875 but it's the closest to 2.89 so we're going to work with this okay so now that i know where i'm working with from the apex i'm going to put my measuring tape like that and then i'm going to mark the points so i've marked that right here okay i'm going to move this making sure that it doesn't leave the edge okay making sure it's still at the apex i'm going to mark it here 
and I keep pivoting it like that just moving it a little bit just move it making sure you still maintain you know the position at the apex just move it just keep moving it just keep moving it round until you get round the round the um, outfit okay so at this point I've gone round and this is what it looks like I now have this right here and like I said you might need to pin so that's the purpose of this pins that I have here you don't have to if you can handle it but it makes your work easier if you can pin so you can pin now right okay now when it comes to a circle one thing you need to know is the maximum length you can get out of circle will be found at these edges not here so I'm going to show you something real quick from here where we have this radius down you can see that I can get 11 inches however if I look here I will get more than 11 inches don't be fooled by this the maximum length you can get will be found here right so that's the maximum length so now that I've done this radius now remember that we folded this into four so we have one two three four layers I'm going to cut I'm going to read what I have round here and multiply by four when I'm done I should actually get the 18 inches that I started with so let's see if we're correct place my measuring tape at this edge just like that and I'm going to read the measurement that I have following the curve so following the curve I have 4.75 I have 4.75 so what I'm going to do is 4.75 which is what I have multiplied by 4 and that gives me 19 inches so that's a little bit extra so I'm going to just check it again to make sure that we have the radius so when it comes to this you don't need to start doing try and error you can just use this method it's usually very accurate so I'm going to just do this again I remember what we wanted to get was we wanted to get two points yes so I'm going to make sure that I have this and I have this properly okay so i'm going to take the reading again so i don't think it was a it was a measurement problem it might have been me taking the reading okay so i have 4.5 so 4.5 times 4 and that gives me 18 so you guys can see that we're actually correct and that gives me 18 okay so that means I now have 18 for my full circle the next thing to do will be after you found the radius and you're happy with it the next thing to do will be to find the length that you require so for this one we're going to keep it at the length of 10 inches okay so I have 10 inches like that and I'm just going to mark it all through starting from here 10 inches like that okay and for the purpose of this video for all our um, circles that we're going to be cutting we're going to maintain this 18 18 inches circumference and 10 inches length just so that you can see the result so now that we have this I'm going to cut it out and we're going to follow the curve now one thing about circles is circles usually take up fabric so if you are the kind of person that you give your fabric to a dressmaker or your tailor and then you accuse them of using up your fabric because you made it a style that had to do with flares or circles guys stop doing that they didn't use your fabric it does take up a lot of fabric when you're working with circles um, as you can see let me zoom this out so you can see all that is left of our fabric yep this is all that is left of that fabric right now and i'm sure you guys know that this cannot do anything so you can see it's cut up used up all the fabric and then you open it up and then you have a perfect circle this is it guys a perfect circle a perfect circle in the next class if you guys want me to do a part two of this video i'm going to show you how to hem circles hemming circles can be very tricky very difficult a lot of people don't like to but i'm sure that you know if you are interested i will teach you how to hem circles so depending on what you want to use this for you can use it just like that or you can split it open because we already added the zip allowance you can split it open like that and you will have yourself a circle now imagine attaching this to a, um, to a sleeve you see how full that is very very full 
that's how full it's going to be attaching this to the sleeve so i'm going to put this aside and then we're going to work on our half circle using the same circumference so remember that i said that the circumference measurement we're using is 16 inches and then the um yeah the circumference we're using is 16 inches and then we have zipper um zipper allowance or the sewing allowance of two inches extra which is a total of 18 inches so now for the half circle what you want to do is you want to open up your fabric and then you want to fold your fabric into two right so remember for that one you folded your fabric into four in this case you fold your fabric into two again you have this folded edge facing you and then this separated edge at the top right that's it so now the um the formula is different so you know what the formula is looking at this again for a half circle we have the circumference divided by 3.14 and our circumference is 18 so 18 divided by 3.14 gives us 5.73 as our radius approximately 5.7 as our radius so i'm going to go ahead grab my chalk and we're going to repeat the same thing starting from the apex which is this edge we're going to mark 5.7 so i've got 5.7 here we're going to do that keep pivoting and we'll mark our 5.7 Okay guys, so another thing that I noticed that will happen is because this is a lot shorter, we won't get all our 10 inches of length. So I'm just going to change the fabric real quick. So Give now that we have the fabric like this, what I like to do, we already calculated it and we calculated it as 5.7, so that does not change. So I start from here and I mark my 5.7. 5 so as you can see i've marked the 5.7 all around and because it's slightly rumpled it might be hard for you to see but this is what it looks like okay so if you want you can connect all these points you can just you know use it as a guide and draw yourself the curve remember that in this case we're drawing a half circle okay so we only folded it one into two as opposed to the other one we folded it twice and folded it into a total of four next thing is you're going to take the measurement that you have here so Make sure your measuring tape is sitting properly you don't want any mistakes and you take the measurement so let's start that and as you can see we have a total reading of nine and this is two layers so nine multiplied by two you guys already know is 18 inches which tells us that we are absolutely correct so now after doing that is to mark the length that would be the next thing and we're maintaining a length of 10 inches and guys you know the main essence of me using the exact same measurements is to tell you that at the end of the day the circumference of all these three flares as well as the length will be the same but in terms of the fullness or the flounce, it will be different. Of course, you would have the 360 degrees flare fuller than any of the other two flares. So now that I've marked it, I can go ahead and cut it out. It is not a whole circle like the other one. So I'm just gonna put my fabric aside, the rest of the fabric aside, so you can see. But here is what it looks like after. You can see that. So obviously it's a half circle. You can see it. it's literally a semicircle, literally. And if you put this on the sleeve of something, you can see that it's full. It's full. It is full, but it's not as full as this one. Because what has happened is I split both of them into two you can see that the circumference are the same that's the circumference held together side by side it is the same but you have a lot more fullness with this one okay so now let's move on to the last one and then you know which is our quarter circle so for our quarter circle the first thing you want to do is you're not folding your fabric so that's the difference when you're working with the um full circle we folded our fabric into four so we folded it twice folded it once and then once into a total of one two three four when we're working with the half circle we did that we folded it once and we had two for this one you don't fold your fabric at all 
so we have this fabric open like that okay now we're going to use the formula and the formula to find a quarter circle is the circumference divided by half pi and we already forked out half pi to be 1.57 remember so again we're using the same circumference of 18 inches divided by 1.57 and as you can see the radius is 11.46 approximately 11.5 now one thing you see is that the radius keeps increasing because you're working with a um you're working with as you as you work with less full circles the radius keeps increasing so we are working with 11.5 so starting at the apex i'm going to mark 11.5 So right now, this is the entire radius that we have. And now the next thing to do is to measure this radius and we should actually get 18 inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure it. You want to make sure that you measure properly. Okay guys, as you can see, this is 18 inches for the radius so it is absolutely correct because this has a lot of um you know space let's go ahead and mark our length now i'm just moving it up so starting from the radius point we're going to mark our length so let's do that we mark our length of 10 inches you guys know the drill So guys after cutting it out this is what it looks like and this is a quarter circle and as you can see it's a quarter of a circle or half of a semicircle so what we're going to do is just so you guys can compare and contrast i'm going to put all of these things side by side so for instance if i fold this is that you can see the circumference this circumference and that you can see they are the same thing essentially this circumference is at the same thing but you can see that the fullness differs because with this one is stretched out normally and then with this one you have more fullness and if i were put to put the full circle by the side it will be different as well so let's go ahead and fold this into two like we've gone ahead to sew it and um, attach it to a sleeve so you guys can compare the fullness so we fold this into two just like that we fold this into two just like so and then i fold this one into two as well And you guys will see the difference this has while they're all the same circumference so let's go ahead and arrange this i'm going to pin the circumference area together for all of it So guys, while essentially all the circumference areas are the same, you can see that in fullness, they're not the same. If you're using the quarter circle, you literally don't get that much fullness. If you're using a half circle, you get some fullness, but not as much as you'll get if you were using an absolute complete circle. So all right, guys, so we've come to the very end of this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for watching to the very end. If you enjoyed this video, 
please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to share don't forget to leave your comments suggestions and feedback in the comment section below if you'd like to see a second part to this video let me know and let me know if you absolutely understood what i thought you in this video if you'd like to see you know a following video or follow-up video where i show you how to hem a circle which can be extremely tricky let me know if you also like to see me practicalize and attach all of this to a sleeve let me know and i'll be more than happy to do it so you can actually see how it works and how it looks different attached to sleeves um whether it's a quarter circle half circle or full circle so guys thank you so much for watching again if you haven't subscribed please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't hit the notification bell as well please don't forget to do so so that you'll be the first person to know whenever i taste that i post new content until next week stay safe and thank you guys bye